السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بی ہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل و سنا و جماعہ وی پرزینٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر فورٹین ایٹی آف آور ڈیلی نصیحہ این ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے ود دا گریس اینڈ مرسی آف آل میں جلا جلا والا وی فوکس آن زید بن ثابت رضی اللہ عنہ سیدنا زید بن ثابت رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ وسم دا انصار وین مصطفیٰ حبیبنا صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مائگریٹ تو مدینہ منورہ ہی واز لیون یز اول and he embraced Islam. Lo and behold, the next year when the battle of Badr took place in the second year, he wanted to participate but was too young and this was the zeal of fighting the path of Allah at such a tender age, subhanAllah. When the battle of Uhud took place, he was then the third year, so again he wanted to go. And he was showing how he can use the spear and the lance. But again, Mustafa Habibuna Sallallahu said, No, he was not allowed to go. He's too young. The first time he participated in the battle was in the battle of Khandak. That is when the enemies came from the Mushrikeen from Mecca, the Yahud and the Jews of Medina and the munafikin and hypocrites so all of them were called ahzab the coalition so he was there and he was also helping in digging the trench Nabi alayhi salatu salam told him to learn the Hebrew language as he did not try, trust the Jews. In two weeks he learned the Hebrew language, subhanallah, the basics. So that is the karamat and the honor of this young person, Zaid bin Thabit radiallahu anh. There was a battle that took place and many, many Muslims passed away. And we find that Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu came to Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu and said, We have to write the Quran Sharif. So many ulama and qaris, people who recite the Quran, who had by heart it, have passed away in the battles. Sayyidina Abu Bakr initially was reluctant and then he said, Fine, who will be given the stars? None other than Zaid bin Thabit Remember, they were Hafiz already of the entire Quran Sharif during the time of Mustafa Habibuna Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Similarly, the Quran Sharif was written already, but not on paper only. Some of it on paper, some of it on leather, some of it on bones. Whatever they could find, they would write the Quran Sharif. Hence, Zaid bin Thabit radiallahu anhu was given this task, and the entire Quran Sharif was reduced and written to paper, and then it was called Mushaf, that is, now it is in the scroll and on paper for the first time during the time of Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. And then the time of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu came, and then copies were made and so forth, meaning that they had that and they were looking after it. Then we find that in time of Sayyidina Usman radiallahu anhu, Islam was spreading far and wide, and then they had the master copy which was there by Sayyidina Hafsa radiallahu anha, and lo and behold, that that was used as the master copy. Now the people were arguing regarding the recitation during the time of Sayyidina Usman radiallahu ta'ala an. so they said the script must be according to the Quraysh dialect and not anybody else's dialect so again Zaid bin Thabit radiallahu anhu was summoned so imagine he is the person the Katibul Wahi the person who is to write down the Wahi and he was the person like Jamiul Quran the one who wrote the entire Quran Sharif on paper and then re again wrote it according to the Quraysh dialect and in time of Sayyidina Usman radiallahu an, it was put between two covers so this is this great great Sahabi Zaid bin Thabit radiallahu an. he was a jurus par excellence and Mustafa sallallahu sallam said afradukum Zaidum du Thabit the alim and the scholar amongst you who has mastered the discipline of the laws of Islamic laws of succession the Islamic law of inheritance is none other then Zaid bin Thabit radiallahu ta'ala an. may all met Allah jalla wala give us the qualities of this young person at the age of 11, 12, 13 they wanted to go and fight may all met Allah reward them and grant them all jannatul firdaus al-a'la ameen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah